DFW Airport wants to get rid of time spent stuck on the tarmac. It's building new taxiways to help planes get to their gates faster. But saving time is a slow process, and this is a big project. It's going to take decades to complete. Brandon Todd joins us tonight from DFW Airport to give us an exclusive look at the project. Brandon. Yeah, Clarissa, the CEO of the airport today said that DFW Airport is growing at a faster rate now than it has in the last 15 years. So to accommodate all of these extra planes coming in and out of its seven runways, it is making things easier for the pilots to get from the runway to the gate. Secretary of Transportation Elaine Chow today, along with Senator John Cornyn and other dignitaries, announced $180 million in funding from the Department of Transportation to build a loop of sorts around the end of the main runways. That money is part of an airport improvement program by the FAA and is in part a safety measure. This will reduce the risk of inadvertent runway incursions. These improvements are expected to reduce delays by 7% over the next 20 years, saving more than $270 million. Now on Wednesday, we were given exclusive access to the tarmac for an up-close view of those end-around taxiways, something a lot of passengers may have already experienced. Very frustrating. <laughs> if it's time spent waiting on the DFW airport tarmac, it's wasted time to most passengers. It was a 10-hour flight, so after spending 10 hours in the air and not moving around and then having to sit down for another 30 minutes, kind of annoying. DFW Airport is trying to cut that wasted time with a massive project that gives looped taxiways or end arounds as they're called at all four corners of the airport. The uh, travelers really complain about taking extra long time up to 30 minutes sometimes 35 40 minutes. Right now there's only one on the southeast side built in 2008 used when planes land in a southbound direction. Instead of holding short between runways they need to cross while taxiing, waiting on another flight to take off or land, pilots are directed by air traffic control to take this end around without stopping right to the gate. And I know they've had to sit and wait a lot, so having that go around would make it a lot faster so that she wouldn't have to sit and wait as we're waiting inside. This is new construction on the second end around on the northeast side of the airport. The Department of Transportation will commit $180 million to the project. By the year 2025, two more end around taxiways will be built on the west side, making four in all, providing routes around all seven of the airport's runways. It's a concern not only at DFW, but all airports. Aviation expert Denny Kelly, a former commercial pilot who investigates aviation crashes and accidents, says the fewer planes you have crossing runways on their way to the gate, the better. It's easy to make a mistake, and everything they're doing, building these taxiways, all the technology they have is to keep airplanes apart when they're taxiing and when they're taking off. Period. DFW airport officials say the end around taxiways are safer and in the long run are expected to reduce the time passengers spend waiting on the tarmac. That that is something might actually enjoy flying after that. <laughs> Now, the one end around taxiway that they currently have, I'm told, eliminates five to 700 runway crossings a day here at DFW Airport. Now, you talk about the time savings. Uh, Secretary Chow mentioned a time savings of 7%. Uh, to quantify that in, in terms of minutes, we haven't really gotten a, a firm number yet uh, from the airport, uh, but we are told that in uh, when they get all four of these completed, we're told that it should save roughly eight minutes on average per flight. Again, and they expect to complete those uh, by the year 2025.